Hey, Stephanie, how are you today? I'm good. I hope you are. It's good to see you guys. This is my friend, Stephanie. We've been friends for years. She's a realtor. I'm a realtor. We thought we'd jump on today to do a little market chat and talk about some of the pain points we're seeing with our clients. Stephanie, um, we were just talking backstage a little bit. We've got some interest rates going bananas. We've got some days on the market that are a little confusing. What are some of the things that your sellers or your buyers are asking you right now? Like, what are they concerned about? A lot of people are obviously concerned about the interest rates. They are excited that we have seen a little drop in them, but a little anxious about what's going to happen after that. Sure. Um, so mm -hmm. I do feel like people are still a little hesitant. And then obviously we have our people that want to see 2% again, um, unless yeah, we never have another happen. pandemic, we're yeah. not going to see that. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, as the rates go down, um, you know, there's going to be more demand for properties too. So they're going to have more competition. So we really have to kind of weigh out that sweet spot for them to I get in. totally agree with all of the above yeah. so I think we saw the rates tick up a, a little above eight and then they went down a little bit like a quarter of a point and then they dropped down Kristen Reagan just told me they were like 6.875 and then my phone was ringing today so it's like we were just talking backstage about how you feel that energy shift when something in the market changes, right? So Stephanie and I are very active in the market. We get a chance to talk to lots of buyers and sellers that are also active in the market. So we hear their concerns and their fears and their anxieties. So um, I think that's exactly right. If the if the inventory picks up, you know, it kind of offsets things. Um, if we see the rates go down just a little bit more in the spring, it could be another repeat of multiple offers, maybe. Um, that's just one perspective. But, you know, and I agree with you. I've got some people that are concerned about the rates. But when you ask them why they're concerned about with the rates, it's really the payments. Am I right? Mm -hmm. The payments are the real issue because there's a solution for the rates. We can do mm -hmm. the buy down. You know, you can Perfect. say take today's 6.8 interest rate, do the 2-1 buy down. And for the first year, you get 4.8. The second year yep. you get 5.8. So now you have a couple more years to refinance if the rates go down. But if the rates go up, you win anyway because you got a better rate. So there's exactly. that. You can usually yeah. save a couple hundred dollars a month on your mortgage. Yeah, and people know this stuff. So it's like really good to talk about it. Get it out there. Exactly. You know, get it out to home buyers that are on the fence because come come January or really come spring, if those rates do tick down closer to the closer to the six mark, you know, people that are sitting on the fence right now waiting on the rates to come down might have a lot more competition, I think. Exactly. Exactly. And end up paying more for the home. Might end up in a multiple Maybe. offer situation. Mm -hmm. You might actually pay more than asking price. Who wants mm -hmm. to do that? crazy due diligence and waiving inspections. And yeah. I, I, I wasn't a fan of that, that market. <laughs> no, no, I don't want that for my buyers. Okay. And then we were also talking, this is a, a very interesting topic about days on the market. So when we talk about days on the market, there's a lot of different things that can play a role in why a house might be taking longer. So it could be the interest rates, buyer's hesitation. Mm -hmm. um, it could be that it's the holidays and people are just chilling, doing stuff with their family. But what else do you think? Is it home prep or what do you think that, that people are not doing to get their homes ready that's causing this? I mean, I think it's always a combination. Sometimes we see more things than others. I feel like this time of year, yes, people are, you know, just got over Thanksgiving. They're trying to settle in and get ready for Christmas. They're not really thinking about packing up and moving. Um, but I, I do feel like a lot of people, um, they view their homes differently when they're yeah ready to sell um I just always ask them you know when you go into a home what you feel like is gorgeous is the the southern living magazine you know when you flip the pages and there's you know not things everywhere and stuff like that that's what you like about the home but yet you like your home with things everywhere you know I just try to kind of co-discover that with people to where they kind of understand yeah. you know being market ready is huge being market ready is so huge cleanliness is huge decluttering and I yeah. mean you didn't really have to do a, a lot of home prep those last couple of years. I mean, let's be honest, everything is a good deal at 4%. So mm -hmm. like, did you have to declutter? Did you have to clean? I mean, maybe yeah. not. Yeah, but there now, was a lot that, yeah. Yeah, now more than anything, kind of you really under. have to check all those boxes, the, the exactly. touch-up paint, um, everything. Right. 
And I always tell people, you're moving anyway. So all your little extra knickknack stuff, go ahead and box it and put it away. You know, yeah. um, just have out your essential things that you need. And that just makes it easier for buyers to see the true home and not yeah. your stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So what's been the mindset of some of the clients that you've spoken to lately? Like your sellers, are they are they feeling anxious? Do they have any concerns in particular? Or are they just like kind of chilling in the holidays? I feel like a lot of sellers are still wanting to price a little bit on the higher side. Yeah, yeah um, I agree. I have noticed a lot of um, watching the MLS, there's a lot of price reductions. I think they yeah. kind of have to put it out there for a little while and kind of see like, hey, you know, these buyers are already hesitant. They're paying more in interest rates. We don't have the demand that we did before. So I feel like we're kind of trying to get sellers to be a little bit more realistic. It's like, it's like sellers are here and buyers are here and they exactly. just can't quite get that bridge gapped. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You, you nailed it. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's just, um, you know, like I said, maybe it's the time of year. I, I definitely think interest rates play a big part I in it. It slows down a little bit around Christmas, but um, I definitely think that interest rates being over 8% puts a special kind of fear into people to where they're like, well, let's wait this out and see if anything is going to change. Yeah. And so, um, you know, only time will tell if the market really does change. If, you know, it, so one thing that could happen is in the spring, a lot of investors get spooked and maybe they unload properties. So when we have right. that much of an increase in inventory, um, it could really shift things and shake things up a little bit. I don't right. know if that's, if that's going to happen, but there's a lot of weird things happening globally and, you know, in our local economy as well. So um, it's, it's just another piece of the, of the real estate the market. Wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the crystal wall. Exactly. Yes. exactly. This could happen or that could happen or this could happen, but we just yeah. have to be prepared. You know, it could, you know, something could happen tonight and change everything tomorrow. It's an everyday market. So true. It's, it's so just, true. You know, Hey, here's where we're at today. This is how we're going to prepare. If you're buying, this is what we need to do. If you're selling, this is what we need to do, you know? And it and changes literally every in. day. Like a it buyer is. that came up to me in October and asked me what they need to do to get prepared would be a different conversation than if a buyer talks to me exactly. in December, for example, or even a seller, exactly. you know, the, the conversation is different. I think once upon a time, we used to be able to look at the last six months and predict the next uh -huh. six months. <laughs> but no you're looking at like the yeah. past like, four weeks like maybe you know, the past four weeks keep it yeah. like current especially with the, the way the rates change and how things go under contract and you know close and so on and things like that there's so yeah. many factors that change and make things completely different than they were six months ago yep because um, you're right like what was our rate at six months I was trying to think what we were at this time last year do you remember I feel like it was about a four like, see I four, thought so too I maybe. think it was like yeah, yeah like yeah, mid to upper fours. Um, yeah. So that's a big difference. It is a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And I think when they got, the rates went up over eight, everybody just took a huge step back. Like, oh my gosh, I think it felt for a minute there like it wasn't going to stop going yeah. up. Yeah. And, and then there's that fear. So everybody's standing on the sidelines waiting to see what's going to happen next. You've got half the people thinking that the prices are going to drop and we're, we're hitting a market crash. Okay. And then this realization finally hits of like, oh my gosh, these prices are really not coming down. And we have such a demand here. I mean, people love the triad. We have people, people moving love North Carolina. Carolina until for we sure. Get, exactly. Um, so as far as like home prices falling, like we're not going to see that here. Not in this area. For no, sure. no. no, no. You better buy it now or you're going to you pay off a lot more later. <laughs> no. So in closing, going into like December, January, if somebody is literally watching this right now and they're thinking about buying a house, would your advice be to them to like move forward now or wait and see what happens or where would you go with that conversation? Well, I definitely think there's no reason like to keep waiting, you know, because again, you know, we could wait and rates go up and inventory go down even more. So why not, you know, go ahead and start now. Yeah. And, you know, see what's out there. And if anything else, you know, you, you, I call it co-discovery. You can see, you know, where you're at now and, you know, what's on the market now and how that changes. Um, because I'll tell people it works out the way it's supposed to when it's supposed to. But, yeah. you know, sometimes you just have to you just have to get out there and see, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, well, and every time you, like you said, you self-discover, every time you put one foot in front of the other and walk towards a certain direction, the more you, you know. gain clarity and you gain direction on, yeah, uh, you get your focus, especially when you partner up with a realtor that knows a little bit more about the market, who's in there talking with other active buyers and sellers that can give you some insight as to where, where people's mindset is. And I think that's yeah. where the true value is. Right. I totally sure. agree. I For totally sure. agree. And and sometimes you don't know what you don't know until you realize what you don't know. And you just Ask need a question if you don't know. <laughs> but you know, and sometimes people don't even realize that they have questions. But I think yeah. when you know, they talk to you know agents, and, you know, we can kind of listen to them, um, you know, take notes from them, and then you know, well, you know, have you ever considered this? And you know, well, you know, I really haven't. And it kind of helps the wheels turn in their yeah. head. It helps them move of, forward. You know, you know. How many times have you had people come to you and think that they want a condo right. and, you know, you've really found out that that's not, you know, they want, they don't want a big yard to take care of, but they also don't want to be on top of people. Well, then they end up buying a home with a small yard exactly. you know, and things like that. It's just, again, it's co-discovery. Sometimes people don't realize what they really want until they talk to us. And, you know, we go and we show them a few houses and, you know, well, you know, I really thought I wanted this, but now that I see this and I walk through this, this is not what I want at all um, because you don't know until you actually you know get out there touch it feel it you know, smell it exactly you know? <laughs> start the process guys this start the process starts right now with asking a question if you if you're watching this video and you have a question for either stephanie or me you're curious about buying you're curious about selling or you're just on the fence and you don't know what to do now's the time to send a message ask a question book a con book a conversation it doesn't hurt anything to start talking about stuff and you might just learn something Exactly. And we might learn something from you all. Never for know. sure. For sure. Yeah. One thing, one thing we know is there's always going to be a reason to buy or sell a house, no matter what the rates are. You've got a Thank baby you. on board. You've got a lease expiring. You've got a job changing. No yeah. matter what the situation is, sometimes buying a house or selling a house isn't always for a happy reason. Maybe there's financial struggles or heaven forbid, you know, an illness or a death. This, this is just something that people need to know about the market, um, you know, navigating the market, talk, talking with a professional like Stephanie or myself, for sure. Yes. Well, we're awesome, Stephanie. Yeah, we're here for you if you need to talk and we'll pair you up with a lender or we'll, we'll do a, a preview of your house and give you all these cool um, staging checklist items that we have. So... Awesome. Stephanie, you've been great to talk to. Thank you. Jump Jen. on here, hopefully in the spring and do another one. Perfect. Awesome. Yay. I look Thank forward you. to it. Bye. Thank you so much.